Oh, this is out of the National Geographic, and they're pushing the climate change narrative. So they're saying it's linked to hotter seas. Yeah, hot. Hot with radiation from Fukushima. And I don't want to go in through the whole article of the National Geographic because it's all about their climate change agenda. They're blaming it on coal why these puffins are dying. They say that hundreds of these birds have been washing up dead in the Bering Sea. And it's causing alarm among scientists. So what is their agenda? Let's build more nuclear reactors like Fukushima. One day these birds are going to go silent. You hear the waves crashing. It's going to be an emptiness where you're only going to hear waves without the animals. And that's what it's coming to. That sound that we used to love to hear, the waves, that's all we're going to hear. It's going to be without the birds pretty soon. Now here's 2,500 dead birds have been found off the banks of the Tolton River. This is uh, near Chile. Now the species were analyzed by personnel, ordered them to be buried in the municipal landfill. The people of the Tolton were surprised to see an unusual event. 2,500 species of birds covering an area of two kilometers from the beach. However, the mayor, Guillermo Martinez, said, This is not a new phenomenon, which in other opportunities have also been stranded, he said. After samples were taken and were analyzed by experts, Cerner Pesca ordered his transfer to the municipal landfill in order to avoid a source of contamination in the population and natural environment. A gang of municipal officials removed dead birds and they buried them. Burn the evidence. Also, there was a 250 kilo of anchovies varieties off the Atacama coast. This is also in Chile. In addition, there are 500 kilos of the same species that remain trapped due to the low tide in a sector of natural pools on the beach of the Chinerlia. So yeah, you're going to have some fish that are going to get trapped in pools, but it's not going to be a huge amount, 250 kilos. Likely these fish are sick. Unhealthy fish are more likely to get trapped in such a way. I think that is more likely. But all these fish, they forgot, and they just got trapped. So they're blaming this, all these fish die off here, on low tide. Fish forgot how to swim. Those fish look pretty skinny. Anchovies off the coast of the region. There's about 250 kilos of that species that were found in the Las Pulses, 20 kilometers south of the Chinero. In addition, there are 500 kilos of the same species that remain trapped due to low tide in the area of natural pools. From both events, service officials are already working on the site. Officials were up next to their port and say that they are approximately 250 kilos of beached dead resource. So they are going to use it as a resource. You see that? They're going to use these dead fish. They're going to plant them. They're going to put them in their food. And then resell it out to the public. So you're going to get some bioaccumulation of whatever was in those fish. Likely you're going to have some metallic isotopes from those Fukushima reactors. In a year marked by the mass death of marine species beaches in this country, the service reported that even the causes of this new variation are being analyzed. So far in 2016, there have been recorded variants of salmon, jellyfish, sardines, and also whales. Experts point to the presence of the El Nino phenomenon, which raised the temperature of the ocean. Yeah. Chilean scientific team ready to analyze 70 different whales in the Aegean. Veterinarians and marine biologists will travel to Clemente Island, where the event occurred in a preliminary way. They explain that the phenomena is not related to the one that occurred in 2015, in which more than 300 species were found dead on the shore of the Gulf of the Pinas. Although for now the bad weather conditions prevent the scientific team of the Chilean intends to make its first trip to the Aegean region in order to document and another Later, what the expedition already constituted, 
to analyze 70 different pilot whales. Veterinarians and marine biologists were moved to the island Clemente where the event occurred. Preliminary, they explained that the phenomena is not related to the one that occurred in 2015 in which more than 300 dead species were found on the shore gulf of the Pinas. It is creating an institutional framework to address strandings in the future. But there are still funds for the state to provide to the resources and scientists do not have to put money from his own pocket, said oceanographer Susan Buchan. The fact believed that occurred two months ago is also being investigated who filed a complaint with the public ministry to investigate potential liabilities. The president of the Veterinary Medical College, Betsy Pincheria, said that despite many studies focus on geographical areas, this has not been a thorough study throughout the country in various aspects of their biology. Right here, there was a bunch of dead fish found in San Jose Cove. I was looking at this area right here, this is off of Peru, in this area right here, northern, like northern central Peru off the beach here. They found many, many dead fish. Fishermen residents of the San Jose Cove in Chiclana found a large number of dead fish on the beach. Mackerel, pompanay. Cachemas and other strand fish were found. The fishermen show their concern and do not know the cause of death of the fish that remained along San Jose Cove. They fear pollution in the cove. The fishermen indicated that they would await the pronouncement of the Institute of the Sea of Peru and that studies would be carried out to determine the cause of death. It's Fukushima. Now this is out of Vietnam. Bunch of dead lobsters, 275,000 dead lobsters in Vietnam. Just imagine the huge toll, this huge resource, the food resource of the world was that Pacific Ocean. Now this is at the very tip of Vietnam. According to the vice head of the provincial department of animal health, Nai Jin Min, Lobsters have been found dying at many farms in Song Ko since November 3rd. Farmers in the two villages of Hoi La and Hoi Tham are most hard hit. 230 households in Hoi Loi village have reported a total of 275,000 dead lobsters aged between 8 and 12 months. Fat said that the situation occurred so fast that the farmers could not do anything to save the lobsters or sell them. <laughs> yeah, let's just sell some sick lobsters. If you think about a lobster, a lobster spends its time on the ground floor of the ocean. It's walking around the ocean, just detritus feeding off of what's other dead. So, yes, lobsters are probably going to have higher concentrations of radiation than smaller fish that are going to be at the top of the ocean. So, yes, I can imagine why lobsters are going to be having these problems of builds up of isotopes. So it's not a surprise to see that Pacific lobsters are struggling. Now, let's see what they're blaming it on. Initial investigations revealed that the lobster deaths were caused by changes in salinity, Fat said, adding that the situation will continue as the floods has not stopped. So they're blaming this on flooding. There's no way to treat lobsters in the cages. We can now suggest farmers to move the strong lobsters to other areas, Fat suggested. Hu Yang is one of the largest lobster raising areas in Vietnam besides other central central coastal provinces by Khan. Some 2,500 farmers are now involved in lobster raising in the province. Yes, we are losing our pristine paradise. There is no pristine area no more in the Pacific.